Okay guys, so we're gonna move into solving uh, exponential functions with um, their applications. Okay, so the first type of application that we're gonna talk about is compounded interest. So what I want you to do is, I want you to copy these notes down in your, in your actual spiral, and I want you to leave plenty of space in between just so um, we can save time on these videos. Okay, so your formula that you're gonna use is A is equal to P, times one plus r over n to the nt power. So you're gonna use this for um, when money's growing at a certain rate. The a stands for the annuity or the future worth, what it's worth uh, after you've left it in the bank account for so long. P is the principal amount or the initial amount. R is your rate in decimal. N is the compounding period. So if n is equal to one, it's annually. N is equal to two, semi-annually. N equals four is quarterly. N is equal to 12 is, uh, is monthly. And N is equal to 365 is daily. Uh, and your T is always in years. Your time is always in years. So let's get started with the example problems. You're gonna need your calculator for this. Okay, so it says, if Courtney wants to have $5,000 in an account after 12 years that earns 7% interest compounded quarterly, how much uh, will she have to invest initially? So she's looking for P. I'm gonna set up our formula. A is equal to P times one plus R over N to the NT power, okay? She wants $5,000 in the account at the end of the period. Interest rate is 7%, so that as a decimal is 0 0.07. It's quarterly, uh, it's compounded quarterly, so N is equal to R, and four times 12 years, okay? So what we're gonna do is put this in the calculator, okay? Now, we're gonna do 0 0.07 divided by four, plus one, and we're gonna raise it all to the four times 12 power, which is 48. Okay, so we get that number right there. So we get 5,000 is equal to P times 2.299598. So if I'm solving for my principal amount, you do 5,000 divided by that, and you should get uh, $2,174.29. Now remember, money, you go two decimal places. Okay, so that's how I do a simple compounded interest problem. Okay, suppose Heather has $2,000 to invest in an account that earns 10% interest. So this is gonna be your principal amount. Uh, and it's compounded semi-annually, so your N would be equal to two. She wants to leave the money in the account until it has grown to the amount of $5,000. How long must she leave it in the account? So we're going to write our formula, A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. Your final amount's going to be $5,000. Your initial amount's going to be $2,000. Your rate is 10%. And it's compounded semi-annually, so your N is equal to 2. Okay? So that's what our equation looks like. Now, this is gonna work just like a regular solving exponentials equations, uh, exponential equations. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 0 0.10 divided by two and add one. So I get 1.05. So this is the equation I'm trying to solve. So our first step, just like we did before, was to divide by 2,000. So 5,000 divided by 2,000 is 2.5. And any time I'm trying to solve for an exponent, uh, I'm going to natural log both sides. So natural log of 2.5 is equal to 2t natural log of 1.05. When I go to solve for t, my answer looks like this. Natural log of 2.5 divided by 2, natural log of 1.05.
Okay, so we're going to get natural log of 2.5 divided by 2 divided by natural log of 1.05, and you should get 9.39 years. Okay, next example. If Scott invests $5,000 at 8% compounded quarterly, how long will it take before his investment has grown to $14,000? So we use our formula. A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. Okay, so your principal amount is $5,000. Your interest rate's 8%. Your N would be 4 because it's quarterly. And I want to know how long it will take to grow to 14,000, which is your A. So 14,000 is equal to 5,000 times 1 plus your rate is 8%. And it looks like that. So uh, just like we did in the previous problem, I'm going to go ahead and do the 0 0.08 divided by 4. Add the 1, so I get 1.02. Okay, your next step was to divide by 5,000. So 14,000 divided by 5,000 is 2.8. Okay, and then we're going to natural log both sides to solve for t. And then t is going to be equal to, we're going to divide it over and get natural log of 2.8 divided by 4, natural log of 1.02. It's so natural log of 2.8 divided by 4, divided by natural log of 1.02. So I get 12.999 years. Okay. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. We're going to come back and do another set of these example problems. Have a good afternoon.